Today we're going to have a look at how to use the Evoc 20 PS vocoder synth in Logic. Um, the way that vocoders work is that they use an input signal to actually articulate and trigger the synth chords or, or single notes that you're playing, which gives it its distinctive character. Um, to that end, uh, to begin with, I'm just going to show you how you can set that up in Logic. Um, so first of all, we need some kind of trigger source, and what I've chosen is this short vocal excerpt to use an example. Let's have a listen to that. That's Funky Byron. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fabulous. Okay, so Byron is going to be the trigger for our vocoder synth. So first of all, um, there are several different ways that you can set up a side chain, which is what we need to do to so that the vocoder can listen to that content. And the method that I'm going to suggest today is via a bus. So what I need to do first of all is make sure I've got this track with Byron's vocal selected. Then go down to the sends pot. I'm going to click and hold on there and I'm going to send all of that signal to bus one. Doesn't matter which bus you choose, obviously as long as it's not got any other content already on that channel strip. Then I'm going to turn that all the way up to in a clockwise direction so that we're sending the full signal. We want to send the full signal over to the synth. I'm then also going to click and hold where it says bus 1 and turn that from a post fader into a pre fader send. That means that it won't make any difference what uh, level I have set here. The send will always be 100% of the signal which is what we want so I can blend in the original vocal as much as or as little as I like here but we'll still be getting the full signal going over to the vocoder. Now I need to go over to the track where I'm actually going to insert the vocoder instrument so you can see I've got a blank software instrument track here I'm going to click and hold in the instrument slot and in certain in uh, an instance of this Evoc 20 PS synth. Now, if I just grab this and move this into the middle of the screen so we can still see what's going on in the arrange window. On the top right hand side, this is where we are going to choose what the vocoder is going to listen to. So I'm going to click and hold on there, and obviously, for us, I want to select bus one. This is where we have sent. Byron's vocal. And then uh, the setting that I suggest you use to start off with, um, there are lots of different ones and once you get into this you can muck about to your heart's content with uh, all manner of different uh, vocoder settings. But um, for our purposes I suggest you try to begin with this clear voice vocoder. So we're going to select that. Now you'll notice that that automatically changed the input signal here to VOC, which is for voice. So it's actually that's really important because that makes sure that the synth is actually using this sidechain to listen out for the signal. Now that I've done that, I'm going to drag this uh, these chords over so that they match up with the region of Byron's vocal. And if I just double click on there, I can show you for a moment. Let me move this out of the way. I've just got three chords in this region which are going to play at the same time as Byron sings his funky little bit of vocals. Let me shut that down. I'll move that back over here. Fabulous. Okay. So now I've got the side chain here set to bus one. We've got Byron's vocal coming out here. Let's have a listen to how this works. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And now that I've got this set up, I can rebalance the vocoder to voice signal so we can just listen to the vocoder if we want to now you notice if we look at the actual synth itself um, 
I'll go into a bit more detail in the next video about all these various parameters um, but some immediate things that you can experiment with are obviously the presets here which you can access by clicking on this menu down here have a look in the vintage vocoder settings um, some basic things to color the signal these are modulation effects so if we want a kind of fatter chorusy sound give that a go this is the amount of stereo width you'll get and you can see that has a big effect on the signal now something that's worth bearing in mind is that this vocoder is listening to all the content that's coming out of uh, you know that's coming into the sidechain now at the moment if we go back just to listen to Byron on his own this sound is slightly muddy come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. and typically a vocoder is going to respond well to high frequency signal so what I've done is I've just set up a channel EQ in here and you can see I've got a high shelf here boosting this whole top end if I put that in, if we listen to Byron again, I've also scooped out the bottom end of the vocal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now you can see that makes for a much thinner vocal, but if we then have a listen to how that affects the vocoder, you'll get a much crisper, kind of sharper attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And that also makes the articulation easier to hear um, and clearer. I just want to have a look at a couple of other potential applications for the vocoder. Um, I have hidden a couple of tracks which I've set up previously here. Um, another common application is using single notes rather than chords. So uh, uh, I just set up another vocoder synth down here and again using the sidechain via bus one. Uh, but here, if we look at this region, I've just got a single note that's lasting for the duration of that audio clip. Um, so let's have a listen to how that sounds. Again, this is a very typical use of the vocoder that you will have heard before. And again, this can be, you know, a really useful way to spice up some of your arranging work. Another commonly used application for vocoders is where you use drums as the trigger. Um, I've got an example that I've set up here. So here, rather than uh, Funky Byron and his lovely vocal excerpt, I've got an electro uh, kind of drum beat. Let's have a listen to that. Okay, and below that, I've set up a um, another Evox synth in the instrument slot there. And uh, here I just set up bus three as the side chain. So on this audio track here, you can see I'm sending to bus three. And then on the instance of the Evoc PS below here, that's the one I'm listening to here. Um, so here I'm just going to experiment with uh, playing a couple of chords with this beat and you can just see how, how that could work. So you can see it can be a really interesting effect in lots of different uh, situations and using different things for triggers. Great thing to muck around with and especially appropriate for those of you who are doing your arrangements using, using synth pop style. Uh, have a great time with that. I'm going to do another video which shows a load more detail in uh, all the parameters here. But hopefully this will get you kicked off with using the vocoder in your arrangements. Have fun.